Just after sunrise, the faithful gather at the Western Wall. It's the end of the Sukkot festival, one of the holiest weeks in the Jewish calendar. Thousands of Jews from all over the world have poured into Jerusalem for the holiday, but they're not just heading for the wall. These people are arriving to visit the Al-Aqsa Mosque that adjoins the Western Wall. It is the third most sacred site in Islam, and the presence of the religious right wing under the protection of a huge Israeli security operation mobilized to ensure their safety is regarded by Palestinians as a gross provocation. The police only allow Israeli settlers who are conducting their religious rituals, and this is just their way of aggravating the Palestinians. It is an historic and religious site treasured by both Muslims and Jews alike. Little wonder then that in these sensitive times, this centuries-old place of worship is also a place of confrontation. Sukkot lasts for a week and at the Al-Aqsa Mosque practically every day begins with scenes like these. The violence almost choreographed. Settlers and the religious right gain access to the courtyard of the mosque, protected by the security forces. That draws a furious response from Palestinians which in turn prompts tear gas and stun grenades from the Israeli police. Just another version of a cycle of violence so commonplace in this fractured and divided land. Peter Sharp, Al Jazeera, Jerusalem.